Hello everybody, it's Miss Dobson here. I hope you're all staying safe and doing well. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a fun little simple DIY at home to keep you busy and to help you with your art and craft skills. So this DIY is going to be a bird feeder. And I think it's also lovely because it links in with our PHSE topic of looking after the environment and caring for nature. So hopefully you're gonna get a bit arty and crafty and make a lovely little bird feeder. So the equipment that you will need is some peanut butter or something sticky. You could use jam if you don't have peanut butter. You will need an apple. This one's got a bruise in it, but it doesn't matter because the birds don't mind. You will need some string. More than this, you will need a fair bit of string, not too much. You will also need two sticks. It doesn't matter what size, as long as you've got two sticks, this is where the birds will perch. And you will also need some seeds. Now, if you don't have seeds, don't worry, because you could use nuts, you could use raisins, and you could even use cereal. I know a lot of you will have cereal at home. You could use any kind of cereal, just something that the birds can peck at and eat that's safe for them. So, the first thing that we'll need to do is put a hole in your apple. Now, this is something that an adult will have to do. Do not do it yourself. You will need to get an adult to put a hole through the apple for you, okay? And then once you've done that, this bit is quite tricky, but you need to get some string and you need to thread it through the apple. So it can be quite tricky if you just kind of hold the apple, hold the string above it, and then gently thread it through. As long as you've got a thick enough hole, it should work quite nicely. However, if you're struggling and the um, string has got stuck in the apple, if you just get a pen, you can push it through with a pen and that should help it come out the other side. So we've got our apple ready, but we now need to make the perch. So that's where the two sticks come in. And we'll need to tie them together so that they're secure. Because obviously if the birds are sitting on it, we don't want it moving about a lot. So we'll get another piece of string that I've cut already. And what you'll need to do is, you'll want to put your sticks into a cross position like this. And then with your string, and it can be completely random, I'm just going to do it randomly. All you're doing is wrapping the string around the sticks. Just to make sure that it's secure. So just wrap it round one bit. Wrap it round the other. Keep wrapping round just to make sure that the sticks are together. Because obviously when those little birds are trying to eat the food on the bird feeder, they're not going to want to be wobbling about everywhere. So once you've securely tied your string together, or wrapped your string around the um, sticks, you need to tie it up. So you've got your two ends. You might need that to help you because it is quite tricky. And then just make a little knot. And I do two for safety, just to make sure it doesn't come out. It's always good to do two, just like when you're tying your shoes at the beginning, when you tie that first little knot. And then you should have your sticks together like this. Actually, it's come out quite nice at the front there. It was completely accidental. But as you can see from this bit, it doesn't have to look brilliant. It's just for the birds to perch on. And if you've got any loose ends, it might be a nice idea to grab some scissors. But obviously, if you're using scissors, you need an adult's permission first and an adult to supervise. You need to be safe. And you can just cut off the little excess ends because we don't want the birds to get their feet stuck in them. So cut off the excess ends nice and safely and then put the scissors away. So there's the perch for the birds to sit on. Next, what we'll need to do is we will need to tie the apple to the perch. So we're going to do it in exactly the same way. We're just going to get the apple and we're going to get the string and we're just going to wrap the string around the perch and then tie it off and then this is just so that the apple can sit on the string and not fall and it's got something to balance on as well it's quite tricky to tie it so i've just tied it off in two knots it's a bit difficult to show on camera but i literally just got the string that's threaded through the apple and i wrapped it round here and then i've tied it off so it's all attached so then the apple now sits on the perch. Oh, it's looking very nice. Next, we need to get some peanut 
butter and we need to be putting the peanut butter on the apple ready to stick all the seeds on. If you don't have peanut butter, like I said, you can use jam. And if you don't have either of them, something that I saw that you can do, which is a little bit more tricky, is you can just get some of the seeds and you can push them into the apple. I'm not going to do that, but you could if you wanted to. You just literally push the seeds into the apple and then the birds could pick it off there. But I'm going to use peanut butter. So this is where it might get a bit messy. <laughs> Get your peanut butter, spoon, and just slap it on like that. Put it all over. I'm not gonna fully cover it just for the purpose of this video. I don't wanna spend five minutes covering the apple with peanut butter because that's not gonna be very fun to watch, really. But I'm just gonna cover part of it with peanut butter. Oh, it smells lovely. So make sure you get a nice even layer Cover as much as you can. Obviously, you'll continue covering your apple. I'm going to stop there, but you'll continue and you'll cover the full apple. You can do the top as well so that it's got that sticky peanut butter on it. And the last thing that we're going to do is put our seeds or our cereal, whatever it is that you've got for the birds to nibble at, on the apple. So I'm going to pour mine into a bowl just for easiness. So I can reuse these after as well because I'm not going to use the full bag of seeds for one. Or if you're making quite a few bird feeders, you could use the full bag and make quite a few. So what I would do is, you don't have to do it like this. You could get bits and you could place them on yourself or sprinkle them on. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to dip the apple. And can you see how I've got enough room with the string? I've tied it on to sticks but I've still got room to move the apple up and down so that I can be crafty still so I'm going to move the apple up I'm going to dip it in and roll it around in the seeds so that when I pull it back up we have got an apple that is covered in peanut butter and seeds obviously some of them will drop off but there's going to be plenty left on if you want to push them down a little bit that's absolutely fine and then yours is definitely going to look a lot better than mine because yours is going to be finished. But once you've covered the whole apple with peanut butter and put the seeds all over it, you will then be left with your gorgeous little bird feeder. And the nice thing about this is that the birds can then peck at the apple as well. So it's not just the peanut butter and the seeds that they'll be eating. It's the apple as well. So it's really, really nice. And obviously the sticks are fine to stay outside once the birds have finished eating it and the apple's gone. So it's good for the environment. So then you've got your leftover bit of string here and you could literally tie it. I'm going to put mine at my allotment. It's on one of the tree branches, but you would just be able to loop it, get an adult to help you obviously, and tie it onto a tree branch. And then this will hang from a tree. Or if you don't have a tree or you don't have access to trees and things like that, you could put it on um, clothes lines. You could hang it off a fence pole, anything you want. Pop it in your garden and then the birds can sit on the sticks and eat the lovely seeds. So it kind of looks, mine kind of looks like this. I'm sure yours is going to look a lot better because you'll be putting a lot more time into it. Mine was just a quick example of how to make it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm also going to put at the bottom of this video some links for some other art and crafty activities that you could do at home that might be fun to keep you busy and to link into our art and craft skills. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Oh, and if you do make one of these, it might be really nice as well to put it on the Facebook page. If you send it to us, we could put a picture up of you with your bird feeder and that would be a really nice thing to do. You could show it to all your friends. So thanks everybody for watching. Stay safe. Bye.